This is Mr. Burley at uh, St. Elizabeth Catholic School. Um, this is a second part of the um, tutorial where I teach a student how to import a drawing into Creo and then trace it. And I want to show you now specifically how to do the finite uh, tracing. So we're going to go extrude, placement, define. Now one of the problems the kids make and students make is they select this surface. This is not the surface we want to select. We want to select the datum plane which is here. Click that. Click sketch. Now scroll in holding the shift key down we're going to scroll in and we're going to start drawing. Now first of all we're, doing, we're going to machine this later on so we can't draw from underneath here because my CNC machine can't get in there. So what we do is we start with a line tool start at the bottom go to about here now this is a nice curved edge I could scroll in and follow that line along the pixels but rather than do that I'm going to select this point I'm going to click select conic here I s now I have to grab make sure you grab the end of that existing line if you start here somewhere there will be a gap and it won't work so I'm going to grab that you can see it grabbing it and now I'm going to scroll up I'm to scroll over to about here and I'm going to click. And now you see this walking all over the place. Now I'm going to play with it until it's, I'm satisfied with it. And it looks something along that line. Right? Now I hit the escape key. And I need to delete this line right here. Delete. So now I end up with a line from here up to here. And then from the conic line, this one right here. Do not use this one right here, center with end points. It creates a center point and then you can't make an extrusion out of it. That's happened to my students several times. So then I select the conic, that one right there, grab the end of that and then draw it up to, again to around here, line it up and then delete the line that it create the other line that it creates. Now you can see the red line at the end. That's the end of the line. So now I'm going to continue from that line. I can see there's another beautiful conic shape here. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to grab the end of that line. I'm going to, you can zoom in better so you can see it. It's grabbing it. I'm going to go back out and I want to end the line around here. So now you can see it's all over the place. So you can scroll in and scroll out until it lines up beautifully like so. That looks pretty darn good. Scroll in and out. Hit the escape key and again delete that other line. Now you can see you can continue working. I can again do this in small straight lines or I can continue with the conic line. I'm going to grab it one more time when I go like this because my windshield is never perfectly flat um, even though the CNC machine will see it as a flat surface I'm going to bring it in until I'm happy with it something like actually I'm going to try that again I'm actually going to do it with a straight line I'm just going to go like that and go straight across it's not worth it alright now you continue that process now if you're going along and you accidentally do a line like this and you go, oh, and you click the undo key, it'll take everything away that you just did. Not these lines, but if you're working on straight lines. Now hit the escape key, hit the escape key once again, don't escape, don't enter, and just delete the one line you want to delete, and then start again from the red line, the red dot. Come in, grab him, and then just work your way along. Again, I'll do it really quickly, I'm not going to use the small lines. There's no point in going in through here because the CNC machine again will not be able to machine that. So you're better off just to come straight down like so, like that, straight down like that. Again, I couldn't go in underneath there because I don't have a, a fourth axis on my CNC so it won't rotate and allow me to come in here. Now the final step is we come over here and we have to make sure we come back to the original spot. Click that, then click OK. And we're going to click AB, default orientation, accept the sketch. If, yes, it's going to fail. That's fine. Then we grab the extrusion and we take it up above here. And there comes the car. Now it's sticking out a bit too far. So you right click here, edit definition, grab it, just bring it back in a few millimeters on the inside of that edge, right like that. And we click OK. And there is our traced car.